Welcome to iHeart Board Games. My name is Jesse, and I'm here to introduce this top 10 to you. These are the top 10 games that we've streamed on twitch.tv slash heartboardgames. Two of them are missing. That would be Ronald and Joe's number 10. But you can find out what those are in the comments below. I'm sure they're going to post them, right? All right, let's go to this show. So, Melissa just mentioned a surprise number 10, Monopoly. Monopoly. Did you finish your thoughts? Yes, I did Great. finish my thoughts. Yeah, definitely blame Travis. He probably has better <laughs> internet than all of us right now. <laughs> all right, my number 10 is Battlestar Galactica. Ooh, I am shocked. Daddy. Admiral Daddy. <laughs> because I, mean, I want to get rid of the Monopoly on there. I'm, I'm also... <laughs> but why? I thought we'd just leave that playing the whole time. But I'm also doing something similar to what Melissa's doing. But I'm also taking the game to a heavy account as well. And I like the game a lot better. Hey, Spragno! Ooh, thank Spragnal, you, Spragnal, for that five-butt subscription. We heart That's you. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so I like Battlestar Galactica a lot more than I used to, probably because we started watching the show. And get you a little more into it. You know what things are on the board without having to read the story too much. Um, also, Admiral Daddy moment was just... It yeah. gave a name that lasted for and a very long time. And then you understood it better after seeing the show. Yeah. <laughs> like, oh, that's... Uh, and spoilers for that episode, it was also a double Cylon. Ep uh, Something moment. that happened so rarely. Yeah. Mm -hmm. One person was handed both Cylon cards. Yeah. So there was only one Cylon in a five-player game. Very, very strange. And in that situation... The Cylon can end up giving away, <laughs> give away one of their cards, and so that Cylon had to decide who to give a Cylon card to. So, yeah. pretty interesting, pretty fun. And eventually, I made Travis my fellow Cylon, but he played it off as human until the moment I did it, because I was like, it's going to you. Everyone knows it's going to you. Like, but nope, he was I'm like, nope, I'm going to keep doing human stuff, because he <laughs> thought I wouldn't give it to him. I don't know. But that's my number 10, Battlestar Galactica, the board game. Awesome. So, let's go to number nine. Number nine. Yeah, number nine is The Ancient World. The Ancient World 2nd Edition. Yes. Which I played horribly on, and I forgot something to do, but I still like the game. <laughs> uh, it's a pretty tough game. I think that's what I like about it. It's a really challenging game. Yeah. There's a lot. I need to play that one again. I want to play it again as well, correctly. And um, there's a lot of beautiful components in there. Mm -hmm. It's a great little game. You got that at the same time as Empires of the Void 2. I did. And if I'm going just on my own memory, I prefer Empires of the Void 2, I think. Neither of them are really the kinds of games that I would have bought if they'd been produced by some other designer. But I'm a Ryan Lockett fanboy, so I had to buy them. Well, mm -hmm. yes, you are. <laughs> Anything else to say about Ancient World, Joe? Mm, no, maybe. Would like to play it again with the correct. <laughs> oh, yeah. I remember. Awesome. We, did, we did correct it. It was easy to fix, but I forgot to keep track of a, of a key key part. I was doing something I wasn't supposed to do. Mm hmm. Okay, <laughs> my number nine is Charterstone. Oh. oh. Campaign game. It kind of like was the kickoff of the stream. That's true. One of the first games we played on the stream. Uh,. So many great memories in that game. It's kind of a cheat because we played it 12 times. Yeah. You know, mostly we just play games once on the channel unless it's a, a campaign game or something like that. So that campaign was really great. And um, I would play the whole campaign again. I really would. I played through it with like six players or two players. I would try it again. I, I loved that game. Would you play it the way they suggest it now? Like to play our finished copy? No. <laughs> part Not of, good enough, I guess. Part of the fun of it is yeah. the experience of building it all out. Yeah. And once you get that finished world, it's like, eh, I don't want to play that. I want to play something that's constantly changing. So that's part of the appeal for me. You so see am I. Uh, <laughs> uh, okay, so young. Let's see it. Let's see. Let's see. Let's and so um, I'm not going to spoil anything because you guys can go back and watch it on YouTube, but number nine, episode number nine. Some pretty wild stuff happened there. <laughs> and that is a memory right there. 
Let's see what a. <laughs> oh my gosh, look at me. I'm wearing the same shirt. <laughs> we look like babies. Let's bring that up a little bit more. <laughs> Joe, you look completely different. Yeah, I'm like a completely different person. <laughs> <laughs> look at that angle, too. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> when we were just starting out, this is when we, we were like still, we still had the yeah. good table at that point. We still had the, yeah, the, um, we still had still, the shower curtain. Still had the shower curtain in the background. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Nothing on the door. Now look at that door. <laughs> <laughs> and the shelf, shelf Wow. That is neat. Very cool. I know, I didn't even hat yet. Well, actually I did, I was hat off and on. I always, I wear a hat a lot, but uh, when did it start? Like in April, April or something, yeah. So yeah, it depended on parts of the year. I, it wasn't, I didn't get a thin hat yet like this. This one I can wear year round. Okay. But, yeah. Crazy well, right. times. What's your number nine, Melissa? My number nine is something that we got to play at Dice Tower on the stream with uh, a person we met our very first year at Dice Tower. Name's Corey. And that game is Jinja. Jinja. Yes, and Jinja, it is up for Kickstarter October 15th. Just a shout out, Kickstarter hype for that. It's going on October 15th. So definitely be on the lookout for that. It's a really neat game. It was one of those, like we were playing it to like do a playthrough, like a live playthrough um, before it went on Kickstarter. I just really enjoyed it. It was one of those like, wow, like I, I would want to buy this. Like this is a really good game. It was very um, like thought out and all the, the components were very, um, very strong and, and well put together. I really, I really did enjoy it. So it was a nice moment uh, yeah, during great. the, during the con. I'm currently working it. on it, yes. the video. It's doing like a week, so. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Jesse. All right, I don't need to look at that. My next one you is. Right. <laughs> <laughs> My next game on here, which I need to turn off this first, is Azul is number nine. Oh. And the Azul. reason is, not only is it a cool little game that anyone can play, anyone can learn. What it was to us was our very first stream. That started all before the table looked like this even. Yes. It was um Okay. Could have swear I had that up. Oh yeah, that's right, I looked at it specifically. Um yeah, the table was just the wooden table we bought used from okay. somebody. Yeah, there it is. It was before I had my thumbnail game up too. So everything was super old. The lighting is weird. The lighting is <laughs> super weird. There's a magic mat that yeah. all the things are on. That's like a mat that we play magic on. Wow. Look at that border. But the, that is something. the hard board game still is in that position, though, at the top middle. So some things stay the same. Look at the, the lab mics. We had the, the mics. Oh, yeah. And if you go back and watch that episode, the the vocal, the it. audio is so way off of our mouths because, you know, I wasn't monitoring it at the time. But, yeah, that goes way back. I love Azul. Yeah. And um, I had another. Oh, the borders that are around our photos. Those are taken from uh, scythe cards. That's a scythe border. Mm. Yeah, just a little bit of, yeah, back then we had a border around the whole thing. Crazy times, crazy times. So it's not really the game, it was just that that was the first string. But the game is also really good. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right, so number eight. Number eight. Number March eight. March 18th is when we start that. Mine. There's another game that Ronald which is Pulsar. Uh, was it 20, 2849. 2849. I thought it was 1819. 18 there, 18 there. What, which, what's the number? 2849. No, but there was a number. You pick, we, we picked with. 1849. Yeah, the 18, yeah, Pulsar, 1849. 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 Yeah, P
All of Ryan's oh, games. I own it. <laughs> <laughs> I own it. So. Uh, that's what my list is all Ronald games. Yeah. Right. Oh, that's <laughs> a theme. Ronald, give them to me all. Give me all your games, Ronald. That's it. Okay, so my number eight is Cat Lady. Oh, Cat really? Lady. Cat Lady. Yeah. yeah. So um, I uh, tried to put a mixture of heavy and light games on my list and not just do all one type because it's really easy to fall into that. And um, Cat Lady is um, a lighter game. And I liked it when you guys first introduced it to me, but I liked it even more as as the time has gone on. And I've played the app a lot of times too. Mm -hmm. And it's just such a cute theme. It's so adorable. And it's, it's light. It's quick. It's easy to teach. And it's fun. And yeah. it, it, you make stories with your cats. Mm. And apparently we, I was wearing cat ears. I don't yeah, even remember you, that. <laughs> yeah, you have a cat ears hat and I have a cat ears hat. Wow. I don't remember that at all. <laughs> so. Oh, look at you with your cat ears. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes we do that kind of stuff. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> um, okay, so what about you, Melissa? All right. My number eight... Also another uh, Dice Tower Con this year experience. And this is my, is this going to be allowed? Because I did not technically right, play you're, this you're, game. You're banned. You're, out, you're off the you're stream. Banned. But you're I banned. was in the stream and I was the like hostess with the mostest Oh, well just person. tell it. So my number eight is... Fiasco. You have played Fiasco on this <laughs> channel before. I have played it, but so, the, the moment that stuck out to fits. me is our live studio audience experience. That is just something that will stick with me as as far as like it's it's one thing to have everyone in the chat and talking and you know uh, engage with everything. It's it's just something different. Like yeah, true. everybody watching. Like right there in the moment with us, like interacting. And I was like holding up the sign, like, do you want yes or no? Like, hold up your thing. Like, it was so interactive. I just loved that moment, that interaction with everybody. Um, yeah, of course, so. we had the Brothers Murph with us that day, mm -hmm. helping us out. Um, so many of our fans, old and new, were in the room with us yeah, that day. And Z Garcia was there too, yeah. the Dice Tower. Surprise. Um, yeah, that was just Nick. Nick and Mike were really great to help us out with that, and it was just really a fun day. I, oh yeah, there's you right there. I probably could have put that on my list too mm -hmm. if I thought about it. <laughs> <laughs> See, there I am. I am playing. Look, I'm holding it on yeah, the very bottom. Go. I'm I'm holding you were up the, on the side. Stream. You I'm also the played stage. that game. I did the play other it time the other time. It on the channel. Yes, That's true. Did. The Antarctica one. Yeah. Both are fun streams if you want to go back and watch those on YouTube. Pretty cool. Yeah, very, very cool. Very it's, fun game. I look skinny too in that black shirt. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's what we're all looking at. <laughs> so, all right. My number eight. number eight is not on YouTube yet, so I won't be playing it. <gasps> thanks for hey, that host. You know, hey, thanks for Jesse that host, Jesse J. It's the host. My game will come out on October 18th, and that game is Betrayal Legacy. Ooh, somebody called it. It's on. Oh, Someone it's said Betrayal it. Legacy yeah. was going to make one of our lists. Ooh. It absolutely does. It's just a great story. It's a fun time. I like the way we played it, putting it all together like that. You mean um, like playing it on a bunch yeah. of times in a day? Mm. Yeah, I think that's the way to go with those legacy games. If you have the time for it, that's the way to do it. Uh, yeah, just playing it quick, getting through the story, um, gorging it as fast as you can. <laughs> Like it's I mean, a it's pile still, of still, We still like enjoyed it, and yes. you know, we didn't go too fast. No, we didn't. Well, but we like, just played multiple times per day. I liked how there really wasn't like a winner or a loser. It was just us having a story experience, just creating the people. I mean, yeah, there were traitors, and yes, there were times where like, oh yeah, traitor wins or you win. But in the overall grand ending. There was no like we all won. Yeah, you yeah. win and you don't win. Like everybody just there, experienced um, it. Spoilers, together. I guess. Well, you, they, it doesn't necessarily <laughs> well, turn yeah, out that like, way. It doesn't necessarily turn out that way. So. Oh. oh okay. Yeah. So Wait. it just worked out for us. But <laughs> yeah. Was, well, we read through all that stuff, but uh, I guess you guys forgot. But it's like yeah, just there is spoilers, so we're not gonna mention it. But it's really, obviously, a great game. Oh yeah. yeah. Uh, and it's your number eight. It is. And now I'm wondering what's gonna be higher. You know if it's. Such good games are at the bottom. Like, let's be 
hate the top. Yeah, right. Why? Ready for number seven? Yes. Ooh. Number seven. Yes. Number seven is Trakirian. Trakirian. Which is another Ronald game. <laughs> <laughs> that's another one. Technically, I got it from them, though. Yes, so. yeah. That's a game I played once before and did not like it. And then we played it on stream and I liked it a lot, a lot better. And Brandon was joined us for that one. Oh yeah, I was yeah, I was right. in like the stream for that. Like I was chatting, but I couldn't make You're it. You're always down. chatting. Yes, I am. <laughs> Sometimes you're like, I can't make it, I'll be at a funeral. And then you look and she's in the chat. I'm like, aren't you at a funeral? Yeah, but I can chat. Yes, there's the priest is talking right now. They don't need me. I can't I can't do nothing for them now. <laughs> yeah, this game this is one of those games where I play it. A couple weeks go by, I forgot ex- how to play it. At yeah, all. there's a lot to it. It's yeah. a heavy game, and um, for a while I kept bringing it to Friday nights, hoping someone would want to play I it was before like, the rules yeah. went away. <laughs> yeah. But nobody ever did. And there they went. Uh, it away. Yeah, I really yeah. liked that game. Obviously, when you guys were getting ready to call it, I was like, I'll take it. Yep. Um, I'm glad you did. I'm glad it stayed around so we could play it here. And yeah, this was probably I enjoyed it. I remember enjoying it, but. I don't need to own it, I guess. <laughs> can't own them all. Yeah, you can't own them all. Well, you can, but... Well, you can. You gotta, get, you gotta go. <laughs> I don't own them all. The board games. So we're on number seven. Yes, we are. My number seven is... Dead of Winter. Whoa. Dead yes. of Winter. Another yes. one I have not played on the stream. You were not there any of the times we played it. We played it multiple. I think we played, we played three it three times. I can't even. It was Michelle's Travis, always. It was Travis's out. birthday when I played it. Oh, okay. I think that's what, when his birthday. Michelle was there once when we played it. I, I wasn't know. there like two of the times. We oh, played yeah, it. Yeah, it was There's Michelle Joe. twice, and then Joe. Yeah, so I've time. never played it on stream. Yeah. yeah. So Dead of Winter is a modern classic. Nia yeah, said yeah. it best. Um, it is a trader game. You, you don't have to play with a trader, but really, who doesn't play with a trader? Maybe. It's a hard game. <laughs> it's fun. Um, there's that zombie theme. We played with the expansions one of the time. We played with like a lot of expansions, and yeah. that's that's the one right there that's on, on screen yeah. right now with the expansions. So much fun, and it, you just you're accusing each other. Um, every little thing someone does, you know, other other um, like you know, you mentioned Battlestar Galactica. Mm-hmm. It's not as accusatory throughout that game, but like every single thing someone does in Dead of Winter, you're accusing them because people have a personal goal, and mm-hmm. the personal goals are so wacky. So they make you do things like collect a bunch of weapons. Well, why are you collecting weapons if you're not the traitor? It's my goal, but you're not allowed to say that. Yep. Or it's like you have to collect all this food, so you don't want to give it away. So you're not giving any you food. You have to lie, then, even when you're a good guy. Yeah, it's like yeah. I just I can't give this food. I need it for something. Traitor! I'm not it's a, a traitor. I just need food. It's a fantastic <laughs> game, and I also it is a great scene that we did in our movie. Yeah. Must love board games about Dead of Winter. You should definitely check that one out if you never have. I'm sure most of the people in the chat have. Um, already seen it but yeah there's a whole dead of winter scene in that um film where i got to be sparky the dog so really really fun oh there we go that's <laughs> the scene from the library um so that's uh kodiak kobe and the crazy santa and uh, the, the... madam something no she's just called the um she's called oh i don't remember her name oh <laughs> <laughs> I don't we remember did her name. Not either. foresee the uh, fourth player. Yeah, it's. I thought she had a name. She does, but I don't remember what it is. Oh, okay. Yeah. And why is there so much gas in the library? I don't know. <laughs> uh, there you go. And there I am. There's Sparky the dog. <laughs> oh my god, that outfit was not fun to wear. <laughs> yeah. I was there. You just don't see me because I had a boom mic the whole time. Yep. That was the boom for that scene. Yeah, anyway. That's <laughs> <laughs> so that's the winner, my number seven. Ah, there have been scenes up. All right, Melissa. All right, up. my number seven. Uno. Is it's Uno. I just got it. Cartographer! Hey, our first Yay. crossover! Pow! <laughs> and my big takeaway for that, not only is it a really fun game and we got to do all the coloring on it which is like yay get to color on stream that's amazing but i was like it, it just tickled me how excited that one in particular person was in straight to like us to play it i, I know that 
<laughs> Magritte. <laughs> <laughs> well done, bravo. You win the chat for the day. Yes, there was one one special person for today. I was just so excited about us playing that, like, you know. Oh, was it Slivers? Yes. Okay. <laughs> and just, it just tickled me. It's like, it, it, I, I, I loved that it was, it was so, like, you know, just like a fun game, not just for like us to play in coloring, but you know, for the, the chat too. I like those games that it's like, it's fun for the chat to be able to interact and watch too. You know, it's, yeah. and oh, it was, just, it was a different kind of game. Like it's not your typical roll and write, like the ones we've played before. I know, I felt like there was just a little something new to that one. It's deeper, for sure. And I really do like that one. Mm, so cute. And yeah. someone, one of our viewers actually played along with the video on YouTube oh. and posted his results recently in awesome. our Discord. He didn't quite beat my score. No. <laughs> but... Uh, <laughs> Solar rules are different. Yeah. Well, right, exactly. Solar rules are a little bit different. But um, he, you, you guys can go watch the video and play along yourselves at home. Mm -hmm. It's yep. one of the great things about it. Yes. Very that was my cool. number seven. Jesse. So my number seven is another campaign game. A legacy game that's already been said, Charterstone. Hey, another crossover! <laughs> <laughs> so because of the what you mentioned earlier, first official stream kicked it all off like it was like tabletop days. day. Yeah, yeah, where we felt like, okay, the quality's looking better. Even though we just saw that it wasn't. And, uh, <laughs> well, but it was game, better than it was we before. Did, we the game is solid. I think I would also play it again. Um, with a well, I don't know. Magritte said it played with six. They say player. six is the best. Really? They say six is the best because you every single one of those areas is filled in. Yeah, oh, that's yeah. true. Yeah, so you're that's it's true. it's and you have all those options to go to. Mm. Yeah, and stuff's constantly getting covered up. It just—it sounds like a cool game to play with. But could you have six people that show up every time? That's the problem. That's the, thing. that's the problem. I mean, that's probably the same reason people didn't catch on to like that Ultimate Werewolf Legacy and stuff like that. Because I still want to play that. Yeah, but, but you need someone to coordinate plus it. Or yeah, something like and it that. doesn't have to be the oh same gosh. people so every time though. Yeah, but you also have to have someone who like coordinates it and does the whole thing. Mm. Talked to someone who did six, and they liked it a lot better. I played with four, and I felt like we missed certain things until too late. Oh, wow. Yep. Same for us. That, that Some of the things just didn't come out until, like, you know, the sixth game or the seventh game, and that could have come out in the first game. Well, if you think but about it's like, cool because it gets introduced, mm -hmm. you know, in a certain order, and I, I still enjoyed it. I didn't feel like we missed out on something. Well, if you think about it, it's like it's just two more people to pull cards or to place things or to do go places. I mean, it's just those times that you're waiting for more stuff to come out because there's not those two extra people it could bring about more stuff at a quicker pace i could see where it would it would quicken mm. how much you're getting out yeah. by two people yeah i can definitely see that but yeah so that's my number whatever this is seven seven, seven. charter stone let's go to Number six. Number six. My number six is Wasteland Express Delivery Service. Oh. Awesome. Which is a game that I own. <laughs> I, like, I don't own that one. <laughs> uh, I, like, I enjoy that one. Mm. Yeah, I like that game. That's fun. I wasn't sure I'd like it after uh, when I got it. We played the first time playing it, but after uh, like a few times playing it. I enjoyed it's it the a, first time I played it. It's mm -hmm. just a lot of parts. But the thing is about that game is. I've always played right, the same yeah. car. <laughs> yeah. Because no, like, I think they're the red in color, but I mean, they're just, I don't know, they get one more move than everybody else at yeah, the start. Yeah, so you start off with one more. But they don't start off with any goods, but it's like, yeah, yeah each, go ahead and do each what I want. Car, each card has a different set of starting things. Because I played, I played mm -hmm. one that had more spaces in it, and it but it got uh, the first game, and he got a, a negative to defense, which was, I was like, what is it? <laughs> But this was also a ronald list stream. I booked that game on that day because I was going to be absent. <laughs> Did you play this game ever? Yeah, I played the time that you destroyed us. Um, it's the pick and deliver game. <laughs> yes, I played that time. I, I didn't care for it, so that's why I scheduled it a day that I wasn't going to be there. Because it seemed like a good game for the stream. Yeah. And I know you guys like it. So. Yeah. yeah. And, and Joe really likes heavier games. I, I'll mm. play shorter ones, but yeah, but I really prefer if we play... Nothing... We don't have to play. I don't like the, you know, five-hour game or something like that. Oh, really? right, but, right. The heavy. Well, you, yeah. you like heavy economic games. Well, some of the, I own. I own a lot of the heavier games because mm -hmm. nobody else in the group 
buys them or they buy the the other ones I'm looking at somebody else already gets and so I'm just like I don't have to buy that and so I'll, I'll buy something a little bit heavier yeah because mm. nobody else is inclined to do it but I'll give it a go very cool I like that pick alright well my number six has not been said yet it is Ink and Gold Ooh, also yeah. known as Diamond also known as Ink and Gold <laughs> <laughs> Um, this is a game that I feel like in almost any situation, I will uh, agree to play this game. It can be like we're at the end of the game night on a Friday night. It's 2 o'clock in the morning. We've played our brains out, and someone's like, ink and gold. And I'm like, okay, I can stay a little bit longer. <laughs> <laughs> um, I just really... Push your luck games, there's something about them. I am not a risk taker, and this is like my chance to take some risks. And um, I also love that Jesse almost always busts. <laughs> it's, it's just You're just so picking funny. games I'm, I'm bad at. Oh, oh I haven't picked Galaxy Trucker yet. That's true. <laughs> but you will. Um, are you? But you actually ended up winning that day. That I think I did it on camera. Yeah. So. I took it very seriously. Yes. Um, legendary <laughs> Marvel at 3 a.m. Oh, one time. My. Sure, I could do a quick game of Legendary Marvel. <laughs> so, um, yeah, Ink and Gold, it's a great game. It's an older game, and it's a lighter game, but I really like it a lot. And the way we got that game was I traded Flip City for it. I like Flip City okay, but I like that one better. Yeah, I like that one. Way better. And this was at a time where that, well, I may have been out of print, I think. But it's very it much keeps in print coming now. back, yeah. Mm. All right. Well, Joe just mentioned a couple minutes ago about like, oh, but not like five hours or so long. Well, uh, my number six lasted a lot more than five hours alone. <laughs> um, it only took us about, what, two hours to get through the rule book before we started the stream? It was three hours and it was three. awful off the stream when yep. you read the rule book. Seven and a half wonderful hours later and my yep. number six is World of Warcraft, the board game. Yeah, that was a fun time. Yes, I I did not know if I would make it through <laughs> seven plus hours or the three before to learn it, but there was just something about that game that I just really enjoyed. Like, it did not even feel physically, like it didn't feel like it was a slog. It, it, like, <laughs> 13 years. <laughs> I've never played it, I don't think I need to. <laughs> If you got eight hours to spare, no, I mean, I don't know why it took us eight hours. I mean, um, we were streaming. You were both well. learning. Yeah. It was yeah, streaming. Yeah. But I will say, that copy I got specifically, it was at the very first Dice Tower convention we, we that we went to the first year at the flea market, and I got it for like $25. That might be one of the widest shots you've ever done also. Yeah, at the time. Until we got to was, Black Angel. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that was a steal. I got that for twenty five dollars. All those pieces mm -hmm. that game, I like, and then it only took us what five. Years? It looks like Melissa's playing the horde. She yeah, is. I always play horde. Yeah, I like for any for any of those kind of games. Like I'm always the bad guys, in, in well, not in the actual, not in the actual one. Well, I do have a horde. I had a yeah. I mean, started alliance. So. Yeah. All right, well, uh, Jesse, what you got? All right, what are we on? Okay, so my next yes. game is a game that I say is, um, here's a controversial thing. It's a little better than uh, Cartographers. <laughs> I like it a little better than Cartographers, and that's Welcome To. Oh! <laughs> so, why Welcome To? Not only is it a great roll and write game, but on this particular Welcome To, we had a visitor at the door that um, brought food. And anytime someone brings food, it makes it a great stream. <laughs> I love Welcome To Too. It was on my short list. Well, my long list. I had a long list. <laughs> so it was at this time that you know, Slivers had brought in some uh, yogurt land. <laughs> and for anyone who doesn't know, Slivers lives 18 hours away from <laughs> yeah. where we live. But he yeah. ordered it secretly and had it delivered to our location without our knowledge. And we were yeah. very shocked. Yes, oh my god! And gosh. he was in the chat the whole time, like, acting like he was playing along with the like, game. Uh, I can't see those corners. Can you call those corners out to me? Yeah, he had me calling out all of the cards so it would take longer, <laughs> pretending like he was playing along. But he just wanted us to stay in the chat so that he could see us receive our ice cream. 
<laughs> it was great. Yes. Especially with all the expansions. Now, I have not played any expansions with Welcome I 2. I haven't played them either. I own oh. Welcome 2. I noticed you guys picked another game I own. <laughs> um, I, I love Welcome 2. I will play that one. But yeah, the controversial Hot. thing about it is I like that more than Cartographers. I had to pick one or the other, and I just think maybe it's because of the newness bias, but I like Cartographers better. So. Mm. Yep. Spoiler alert. <laughs> we were going too fast. He had to slow us down. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. I like the simplicity of it. It uses numbers and it's just easy. But that's it. All right. On to number something. Five. Number five. five. Number five. I'll go on by so quickly. My number five is Tyrants of the Underdark. Ooh. Ooh. I played that. I played that twice on stream, and we've only played ever twice on stream. Okay, so you were here for both. I played. I, I, Look at that! You were in Ronald's seat. <laughs> yeah, Ronald's. Well, I think it was another one that Travis. Yeah, Travis filled in, and here. then Travis requested for his birthday or something. He wanted to play it. Ah, uh, well, um, Slivers had requested it specifically, and I think we brought it in because he had asked for it for Travis's birthday. The best way to play that is at four. Um, or two. Two's okay. But three's kind of weird. You're picking the side uh, of the board and stuff like you that. You have to choose one or the other, and I just feel like I'm always wanting to go on the left side of the board more than the right side of the board, and to play with the two, it's more even spread in the middle. But yeah, three's, three's weird. And that so, was the first time we played with like the not starter decks. Yeah, that's what I was, mm -hmm. was about to, to say was the the additional cards and things like that changes can change the game, and you yeah. might not know what they, how they work. You get a chance to see something a little bit different. So you get a lot of replayability in the base box, but where they messed up was releasing the expansion, where the card ink doesn't quite match the base card ink. So you can see, I think even the size is a little off. Mm -hmm. So I haven't even tried to get the expansion. I'll wait until they Fix reprint it, it or something mm -hmm. like that. That's another one I scheduled on my day off. Because the only time I ever played that game, Melissa ruined it for me, and I did not like it from that day forward. What'd she do? Um, I don't really, I don't really like uh, kind of like spot. take that or like you know area control. And Melissa just picked on me the entire game, oh. <laughs> constantly taking my well, people, that, well, even also, whenever it, I wasn't the logical choice to take. I, but I want that spot. Like I'm in dead last. Yeah. Someone is in way first, and she's like, I'm gonna still go for Ronald. I was like, okay, well, I don't love this game. That, but we also we also talked about it the, um, that is based off older D and D uh, Forgotten Realms yeah. books. And I love so, the theme, and it, and it it plays into the to their uh, how they decide who who's in control of their of their main city or whatever. So yeah, and those names are really hard to say, but yeah, still they're fun. all yeah they're all dark elf names. Yeah, I wish the graphic design for that was a little better, but you had so much stuff going on the board. There's only so much you can do. So, yeah. Yeah, well, we told everyone to wear I them, but she ignored my, that. I could not <laughs> find mine for anything, and my given choice of, of color ago, is usually that. either black or blue. And I couldn't find my blue shirt, so I went with black and blue. It, is, it does say I heart board games, yes. but... <laughs> this, this is the one that Jesse specifically designed for me as a Doctor Who fan, so it's my Whovian But we love. all said we were going to wear this design. I couldn't the same find design. that one. It must be either dirty or... I don't know. I couldn't find it for anything. I searched. I really did. So I went with the next... Choice. Maggerty busted you. I know. I'm sorry. I was, was going to say something, but I'm like, I don't want to call her out on camera. I've just been trying to cover it up. So oh, like, my. Mm. Okay, my number five has actually already been mentioned, but it's a different day that I'm talking about. Azul! <gasps> Azul! Yes. It was we, a different day? Yeah, we played it again with four players. That's true. We mm. did. And that was the day that I was there. So, um, Azul, if you're not familiar, we already talked about it once, but it's a tile laying game, and I love tile laying games, and I, oh, I'm not there that day either. But <laughs> I was the there thing. one day that we played Azul. I don't okay, know where so I am. I'm in one of the videos. Who knows which one? <laughs> you were there for the three player day. Oh, the three player. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. And that was one of your first appearances. That was. Oh, oh gosh. Oh, look at that my gosh. Okay, so this <laughs> what was, was that. <laughs> Go to the beginning. We didn't even have a video at the beginning. It was just that, and then it goes straight to me. Look at you that, you guys! Look at that baby face. Oh, look at, look at me! <laughs> look at my hair! Keep it 
mind, this is only a year ago. I know. <laughs> it looks like we're looking at old yearbook photos, <laughs> but no, this is one year ago. I don't feel like I've changed that much. Like, y'all <laughs> significantly changed a lot. Like, hair's all different. You're wearing a well, different Well, also, hat. the like, camera was right in my face back in oh. the day. Like, we brought it up like that. But so, yeah, anyways, the Zool is a great game. I love it. I own it. I bought it, <laughs> even though they have a copy. I don't usually buy games they have copies of, but I bought... Actually, someone gave it to me as a gift, but I wanted it because I just love it so much. Yep. And also, if you live near Target, it's like $11 right now on sale. Wow. So, go wow. get a Zool. That's, That's a deal. great game for mm -hmm. anybody. You can teach your grandma to play that game. It's great. Yeah. Yep, that's Ronald. That's... That was... C'est moi. Ça, c'est moi. Yeah, well, listen. <laughs> All right. My number five is another. I know what's going on. So you might hear some fireworks in the background. Those are not gunshots. They're having a, we live near a neighborhood Walmart, and they're having a customer appreciation day. So there's a bunch of free food over there and fireworks. <laughs> I just found out about that like an hour ago. <laughs> <Bye>. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, you had me at Walmart and fireworks. Yes. <laughs> an appreciation. You only played Azul like at two. Oh. And did, oh, you mean Azul, the second Azul. You mean, she, I think she means Azul, the sequel. Oh, the stained glass oh, yeah. one. The little. They're different games. Very, very different. Mm hmm. Yeah. All right. My number five had a special guest with us that day. And I was originally not planning on streaming that morning. I had not really known if I would be up for it. I was very tired. I actually wasn't feeling well, but I figured, well, if we're going to have this special guest, I I want to be present. And Richard was uh, very kind enough to be RGM that day, and I was allowed to play Arkham. One of the... Ah, uh, yes. That was a Dice yes. Tower con. That's Dice Arkham Tower. Horror 3rd Edition. 3rd yes, Edition. Third edition. Yep. edition. With the designer of the mm -hmm. game, Richard Lanius, in yep. well, one of the he's the designer of Arkham Horror Second Edition yeah. and First Edition. Yeah, I don't know. He had a hand in it. Definitely First Edition. Second Edition, he came in with Kevin Wilson, and Third Edition, I can't remember their name right now. Yeah, I don't. I don't remember their name. Uh, it was but, it was really nice. Like he was so good at just being able. Hey, hey she does have the hey, right shirt in that video. Yes, yeah, she did. Oh, yeah. Then you left it in Florida. Oh, no, I left it in Florida. <laughs> hey, Vigil. No. But, I mean, he was just so nice. Like, he, he just had this way. Like, he would get so excited if something bad was going to happen to us. He would get giddy almost. He's like, oh, yes, yes. This, like, yeah. And I kept pulling those bad things out of that bag. Like, I kept constantly pulling it. He's like, yeah. I'm like, but that's not good. <laughs> He was so excited. I just I loved seeing like his interaction with us playing and just that that is that is a moment. That is a real experience that you don't just get those experiences all the time. And I'm so like I'm just so grateful that I was actually able to be able to play because I was not originally going to. I was gonna like sit out and just something like just in my gut said, I need to do this. And yeah. it made for a really awesome. That's Arkham moment. Third Edition, yes. Arkham Third Edition, yes. edition. yep. With Richard Lanius. Pretty cool. Really awesome. and Pretty cool. Someone went on YouTube and commented that we got some rules wrong. <laughs> well, he was teaching it. Okay. <laughs> right there. Yeah. Well, I mentioned we were playing some prototype things mm -hmm. that may have been introduced that changed some things up. But yeah, we all yeah, had a really was a good, good time. Really fun time. It was a. Uh, and I liked what yeah, that was. That was Travis's last. Yeah, his last tour. That yeah, was his, his last, last, last appearance on the can on the channel so far. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Who knows if he'll reappear it someday. Well, um, yeah. <laughs> well, he got lost to Arkham Horror. Yeah, <laughs> he did. Yeah. If he can evade Cthulhu, he'll come back. Mm. So, what number five? I think You're that's on number five. five. So, number five, we're, we go from Arkham to another part of the country. Well, a real part of the country. And uh, Viticulture. Oh, we played Viticulture. Yeah, we had a special guest here that day as well. I was not here. I noticed how many of these you guys have picked the days I wasn't here. That's intentional. <laughs> but, <laughs> but for that one, we played uh, with the visitors visit from the Rhine Valley expansion. But more so what it did for me was I didn't like Viticulture before. And for various reasons. 
But the more I played with other people, like it actually showed me that this was a good game and I enjoyed it the last few times I played it. And this this being the last time I played it. Which has been too long because that was well, that was only back in May. BJ from Board Game Gumbo was in the house mm-hmm. teaching yeah. you guys. That's one of his favorite games. Oh, yeah. I'm yeah. sad that I had to miss that day. I think I had strep throat. One of my five times I had strep throat That's last right. year or something. Because you were scheduled to come in. Mm-hmm. And some re- like two days prior to that, he said, hey, I'm coming into Baton Rouge. Mm-hmm. I was like, oh, we have plans. And then you said, I'm sick. I was like, come on by. Yep, yep. <laughs> like it worked out perfectly because he doesn't live in the same city as us. He lives about an hour or more away. So yeah. it was very nice of him to come in and help us out that day. Yep. It's a great yeah. game, too. I'd like to play it again someday. Yeah, that's on my short list to probably get someday. It's a All small right. box too. It's not like yeah, I was surprised. Invasive. Yeah, <laughs> slivers. The thing you'll find. I mean, I found with my list, I got down to twenty three games, and any one of them could have been number one. So it's like it's really hard to put them in order. At some point, you just have to just make a call. <laughs> oh, we got a different cat behind you today. A different yep. kitty. Oh, meow! It's Gail. Yep. Hello, Hello. Gail. Oh. Wow. <laughs> okay, so we're on to number four. Yep. My number four is Pipeline. Ooh, pipeline. pipeline. Because Ronald wasn't there. <laughs> <laughs> but I did teach you. <laughs> and that is a rough teach. That is a rough, rough teach. Ronald played it once. It was like, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> he taught it. Then he walked away. Oh, getting rid of yeah. Travis oh. would be the number one. Yeah. The cats love Joe. They, they yeah. love that yeah. chair. That's for sure. Yeah. <laughs> They, they um, thank Joe for, you know, keeping people I was cheered. in Austin, Texas when you guys played this. That's right. That's true. Oh, I see. So you were playing games, just not this one. I was playing with Magritte at the time, actually. Yeah, sure. <laughs> wow. Yeah. So what do you get to say about Pipeline, Joe? I think it's a colorful game. It's a pretty challenging game. Uh, it's amazing that someone could be really good at this game. Like the designer saying that yeah, yeah. what his score was was so high compared yeah, to what they, we scored. They would handicap themselves yeah. against other people, which is crazy because of how you're just kind of trying to piece, you're trying to I'm grab totally, a little bit yeah. and figure something out. And I, I, I think like we're all terrible. Yeah, it's, it's, I struggled. It's a struggle with this game. I enjoyed it for what it was, but I felt like I wasn't any good at like I had no strategy. I just tried to figure out like. How best to not get I mean, that's, zero? But that, I think if you played it enough, you didn't get a sense of it. But but the, the first ones, it's just a struggle to, to grab. And then you, you keep remembering that you were wanting to do certain things. And then you get fewer and fewer turns to do it. And so Yeah, we, we had played two days before that, right? Mm-hmm. So, um, yeah, our best scores was 821, 324, which is pretty close to that, and 554. But it... That first game had to happen for us to learn on the second game. And, like, you have to play, like, back to back to back to back Mm -hmm. to get really good at it. And just, mm. it's too much. Yeah, I feel like if you (laughs) try to go for one thing in that game, then, like you said, you just ignore the other side. Or you, like, oh, I'll get to that. And then never happens. And then you just lose out a bunch of points. Yeah. A good game. I like it. Okay. Well, my number four... Yep. Or has also been mentioned by someone already, Ooh. and it's on Joe's list, and that is Pulsar 2849. Oh. That is a game that our friends Wes and Kelly taught me a long while back, and despite only having played it one time, it stayed on my mind and continued to stay on my mind and stay on my mind and stay on my mind until finally Dice Tower Con came around, and I was like, you know what? It's, it's on my list to buy. I need it. I, I liked that game mm-hmm. so much. And um, I actually, when I did the little compare thing to sort my games into the top 10 list, Pulsar did, was not in the top 10. Mm. But I moved everything around and stuck Pulsar in because I just think it had to be in the list. <laughs> wow. So um, it is, it's, it's, it's kind of in the realm of Castles of Burgundy and dice so, in, in, in space. So if you like Castles of Burgundy, if you like the rolling the dice and taking the actions from the dice, you might dig this game. I think it's a little more to it than that. And um, it's just a beautiful presentation on the table, and I just like yeah. it. I do like what they do with the table. No, castles. Making it castles can be fancy. Cute. It's not for everybody. Mm-hmm. Not everybody likes Feld. Yeah. Well, there hasn't been any Feld on anyone's list yet. Oh, we must hate Feld. Uh, I don't. I've played like 20 of <laughs> the games. All right, Melissa. 
All right, my number four was a game that I was determined. I insisted I must win this game before the end of 2019. I was not going to go into the new year without winning this game. And I finally won with like minutes to spare on stream, and that is Coinbra. Oh. I love that, that, that game. Oh, okay. Of course. <laughs> Absolutely love Coinbra. I I like it so much. I you stream that? Huh? You guys did. Yeah, we did. Oh, Just we the did. two of us. Yeah. It was on New Year's Eve. We were pl- like, oh. we, we did not make Year- it on the YouTube page. Yeah, we did a special New Year's Eve stream. It was just Jesse and I, and I I insisted, like, I must win Coinbra. And I just so love the me game. unboxing it. <laughs> it's on the list to play again. I don't know what happened with that footage, but you, we've always said we needed to play it again. So it's still on the counter, but it just keeps getting game. bumped. Yeah. I absolutely love the game. It was. Th- I know when I like a game. Jesse enough, threw it. He private messaged me. <laughs> That's true. You said I, you wouldn't tell. <laughs> I know when I like a game because I I do not. <laughs> just willingly, openly teach games on a regular basis. You would think as the teacher of the group, I would just teach everything, but that's just, you know, it's just not what I do normally. But for some reason, I really like Coimbra. And when we were at the Southern Board Game Fest this year, BJ actually asked, like, would you go and teach Coimbra to this group because there's no one to teach them and I can't do the stream stuff like he was supposed to. If he had to go teach. I was like, sure, I'll go teach it. Like, that's how much I like the game. There's only one other time I've ever done that, and it was for a failed game. That I remember, like, well, like, I love this game so much, I'll go teach you. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so. not everyone could teach games. Um, it is, like, there's just something about, it's like... It's a fine art. Yes. It is a fine art. Well, and, and there's something about, like, when when Ronald teaches all the games, it's so stream like, you, you streamline it so, like so well that I was like, okay, I can't compete Thank with that. You. There's just like, Thank no, you. can't compete. <laughs> so that's a great game, Coimbra. Mm, I awesome. love that game. Mm-hmm. What do we got to hear from? Oh, I think I know what we're going to hear from Jesse. Well, because you're cheating. So my number four is a game we played at another convention. And we had some guests once again. And Steve Finn and John from Southern Board Game Fest, this game is Cosmic Run Mining Colony. Let me get it played. All right. Had I had an 11? So this game game. was unexpectedly really, really good. We just wanted to have Steve Finn on for something. We played uh, (laughs) Steve Finn's game, uh, The Little Flower Shop, which is behind us. Very cute. Yeah. And... We know him for Biblios, and that's about it. But he designed Biblios. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I didn't a, know that. That was his first game. He was such a nice guy. Yeah, yeah he was very so nice, nice guy. BJ introduced him to us while we were having dinner, and he was like, "Hey, Steve, want to be on the stream?" It's like, "Yeah, let's do it. Why not?" And it, he he taught so well, like he's so easy to understand. Yes, he's a very good Gosh, teacher. So good. I but, had Biblios for years, but I just called it recently. Mm-hmm. So yeah, but so yeah, Steve is a, I'd say he's a friend of the show for sure. He sent us uh, Cosmic Run Rapid Fire, which yeah, we played specifically good. for YouTube because we wanted to be a part of his Kickstarter that he had coming up. So hopefully, whenever he has his next Kickstarter, which will be for Mining Colony, we'll do another play of this game. Mm-hmm. Hopefully, in the studio setting rather than the road road show. But yeah, great game, Cosmic Run Mining Colony. Awesome. Yeah, I don't, I don't listen to that one, um, Vidger. I have like so many podcasts. I I have I've cut them way back because I just don't have time to listen to them all. I have like ninety hours in my podcast app right now that I haven't listened to. I have a problem. No. <laughs> so number three. 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 Ah, ah, ah. My number three, ah, three. is Terra Mystica. Ooh, Terra Mystica. A good game. Very good game. Yes. I don't think yeah. I need to say anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, w- I will say, I think I need to try to play something other than Mermaids. You did. Going forward. Oh, yeah, you played the red ones. You were caught? Because everybody well wanted to keep either. it away from me. I remember that. I didn't yeah. do well with them either. I didn't play those Chaos Mages Because we drafted correctly. that. Joe starting, and y'all mm-hmm. just took all the ones that I wanted. But that's not true. Completely. But... Yeah, I ended up playing the engineers. Yeah, I, I don't did not do well that. with the chaos mages. You want it? Yeah, three hours I think and thirty I minute did. stream on that one. Mm. It's still a really good game. I feel like I did. I don't know. <laughs> you probably did. You won. 
Yeah, I remember you won. Yeah, judging from the looks of this board, you won. Let's see who. Well, I know I didn't win, and you oh, didn't, I win, didn't win, no. and Jesse didn't win, so it was Ronald. Who were you cheering it was for? Me. I saw fireworks. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure it was you. Yep. <laughs> yep. And Joe came second. Oh, and Melissa nice. and Jesse tied. Oh, we tied. Look oh, at there that. we go. That was the last time I played it. That was this yes. year in July that it if, went out. If only we could find people that want to play it on our regular game night. Yeah. Well, they didn't <laughs> play it. They did uh, recently. They just That's played it, yeah. yeah. It's a it's a heavy game. There's a lot to think about with it. Um, I like it. Um, and all of the factions are played completely differently. So if you're a new player, you can pick one of the simpler ones. But if you'd like to challenge yourself, the other ones use completely different strategies. You have to think in a whole different way. Um, pretty neat game. There's a, there's a good app for it, but you... It helps have played it because the app doesn't. It it kind of helps you once you know what what you're doing. It'll highlight that your actions that you have left. Yeah. But if you just open it up, you'll it's the iconography is is a little odd. Yeah, the app's a mess. Um, so, but there is an online play. I get the best way to learn is on the board game. I mean, yeah, I mean once is. once somebody teaches it to you, and then you get the app, and then you can really. You know, try out all the different factions and just play through. And like I said, it'll it'll highlight when you can do an action. It'll be highlighted, and when it when you've taken it, it, it dims it or whatever. So you don't so you know what your turn is. But your turn's up to you when you end it. So, yeah. and it, it kind of takes a while to, to understand. I'm the same way, Vidger. By the way, it's probably it's probably not in the top ten for me anymore. I want to play Gaia Project. Twenty or thirty, maybe. I hear they're similar. Gaia Project. Yep. Well, my number three is a crossover, but my number two and one I haven't heard anyone else say yet. So that's Whoa. very exciting. So my number three is a crossover with Jesse, which is Betrayal Legacy. Wow. Oh, yeah, which is not online. <laughs> so I yes. don't have the loading. We don't have the videos yet on YouTube, but we will soon. <laughs> October the 18th. last one's going to come out on in like Halloween or something like that, right? Something like that. Yeah, it goes from October 18th all the way to Halloween. Yeah, so those will be really cool to check out. And when you watch them on YouTube, you'll be able to hear both the hero and the traitor's side yeah. on that. <laughs> uh, Minute Redactus. <laughs> that was just such a great experience playing that through. Um, we'd been waiting for so long to play it. And it had been hyped up so high. Everyone was saying how good it was. And I know that first day we played it, we all were just like, oof, that was fun yeah. that was yeah. great bazooka granny exactly <laughs> and it just makes up some stories that you just yeah. can't get out of other games i mean it's just so so much like silly fun and i don't want to spoil anything but there's just so many things that the game tells you to do which are just ridiculous things like pointing at people and saying words at them or saying boo at them if you're a ghost or just weird things like that you don't need that in a game but it just adds so yeah. much fun and flavor yeah. to it and Chanting I, for no reason. Yes, yeah, <laughs> I have always loved Betrayal, the regular game, uh, The House on the Hill, and Betrayal at Baldur's Gate. That has been a game I will always suggest on game night. Mm -hmm. And now just bringing it full force because Legacy games are some of my favorites. That's probably in my top ten games, not just that we played on here, but that of all game of all time. So, so says it seems nice. to be the one we've had most fun playing of anything he's seen us stream. Wow. Mm. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> well, maybe with Let's one. see yeah. what these top ones and twos are. Yeah. Well, it's like like I said, anything could have been my number one, but yeah. yeah. All right, Melissa. All right. So my number three uh, was something that I actually got planned in the works because um, before Dice Tower this year, I was talking to uh, Danny and Derek. If y'all know. So basically anything we played at Dice Tower, yeah. Melissa picked. <laughs> <laughs> um, and what is, uh, is it Danny or Danny that has a podcast? Danny. Yes, yes Danny. So, um, yeah, shout out to his podcast. I'm not sure. Variable Player Power yeah, Podcast, if you're one. interested in that one. Yeah. Yes, and we played Wingspan, which is one of one of my favorites. I, I actually just really love the game, too. It's, it's definitely one of my favorites as far as a game but i suggested we play wingspan and derek like we'd actually talked before and he's like yeah uh they had played with the designer and elizabeth hargrave and elizabeth actually was in the channel with us that that stream and it was it was amazing 
Yep. That was a oh. great day. It was great to meet them finally mm-hmm. after having seen them on the Dice Tower. If you're not familiar, they used to do a segment on the Dice Tower. Danny and Derek do board games. They have a YouTube channel as well. Um, but now Danny is on the Variable Player Powers podcast, and you can check that out. It's queer focused. It's really cool. And um, yes, oh yes, personally, <laughs> to personally. The ice cream. That, that's that's another thing that kind of put the the ice cream on the cake. So to ah. say. <laughs> is that we had a personal delivery? There was cake. Ah. The part. There it is. There it is. There's me with the ice cream. Yeah. Is. That, that is was, so wild. That was such an awesome. Yeah, there's a part where you can actually see oh him walk like, behind us because we're all yeah. lo- are we all looking to see what's happening yeah. over there? Oh, there that's, he is. That yeah. Slivers right there, <laughs> coming in with the ice cream. Hey, Slivers is wearing my shirt. I'm that's thinking, what happened to your shirt. That's what happened to my <laughs> you shirt. Took your shirt. <laughs> <laughs> like I need this shirt. <laughs> With real <laughs> ice cream, real ice cream. Yes. Yeah. Oh my gosh, it was that was an amazing stream, <laughs> and and it was just so interesting how it happened because okay, it, it all stemmed from the fact that I've uh, bought prints from Derek. He does a lot of painting, and last year he art, he did art. He did the watercolor art for Dice Tower for the auction. Well, he had made a smaller one, and I bought it for. I like asked him on Facebook, like, can I? purchase this well then he had some other prints later on I asked could I get those from it from Dice Tower so we were got we had gotten to talk and I was like hey do y'all want to like come on the stream with us like I just you know because actually you had said just suggest yeah. that to him just ask hey you, you were come texting him and I was mm-hmm. like hey tell him to come be on yeah the stream. and we just we just made it happen and you know we just found a day and a time they were able to come and and made it work so That's and wingspan is. is a fantastic yeah game. that was amazing the expansion game. for the european birds or well, european birds some kind of birds just, yeah. just got announced and yeah. you can see like i have the the first player um wooden token piece i just i just gotten the upgraded components that day mm-hmm. i'd gone with my little gift certificate i got from uh my reimbursement money from being crew and I went and I purchased the upgraded components for Wingspan that that day. Great. So Jesse, what you got? Yeah, very us? cool. So this one, this next one on my list, I, we did not have a guest. It was just us. And this was a game, uh, I wasn't sure how I felt about it going into it because we were dreading the length of it. Hmm, I'm dreading the length of it. Okay. Yeah, but we were like, okay, so we're going to play the whole thing, but we're just going to cut it up into a bunch of different episodes, and that oh. was Mansions of Madness. Yeah. Yeah, we, so we did the long one. The yeah. long one, yeah. yes. We're like, oh, this it's is like a six-hour long one. Was I there? Yeah, of course. Uh, How do I not remember this? So yeah, we, were, we were here like all day long. Yeah, it was very long. Yeah, let me bring it up here. That's one of the ones where people in the chat say, I'm so mean. One lady was like, Ronald's so mean I can't watch this. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah, in the, oh in the YouTube comments, somebody says I'm like super duper mean. It looks like they we're just watching don't get old my war footage because it's like not colorful back then. <laughs> right. But yeah, yeah, there's Melissa. Oh, there I am. Gosh, my hair is much shorter. So Very Mansions much, uh, of Madness 2nd Edition. My hair's grown. <laughs> but yeah, it was a great game. Uh... I like that long one. Everything about it, it was it was a mystery game until mm-hmm. at the very end, then you finally fight. And uh, I like that. Made it great. Travis was at the table and someone called you mean. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Exactly. <laughs> they just don't get my humor, I think. I, I have a very like flat affect and people don't get it sometimes. It's fine. I don't mind. Yeah, we were playing with the app on screen and I th- maybe we were jumping back and forth. Gosh, how do yeah, I we were not jumping remember back and forth. <laughs> I remember at the end it came down to you have to decide who is the who were who were the two people it could possibly be. Yeah. And if you were wrong, you didn't get to fight them. But we, we we got one of them right. So and we also we went to like oh, four, di- I remember that. four different locations or three different locations. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There was four completely yes, different maps yes. that we had to go okay, to. Okay, so I no spoilers that. or anything. You guys can go uh, back and watch them if you're interested. Yeah. I recommend you just play it because it's a fantastic game. I love Mansions. Yeah. That. Don't it's be like scared of that 360 minutes. They say. <laughs> I mean, you get, you're going to have to have five hours to do it, but yeah. it's going to be a fun five hours. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, we're ready to move on to number two. <gasps> number two. Nobody has mentioned my number two or my number one yet. Whoa. Whoa. My number two hasn't been mentioned either. Oh. Okay, maybe we'll have a crossover, Joe. Uh, no, no. You weren't oh, for that. <laughs> it, was, it, it was. It was just. It was two player. Okay. 
Uh-oh. And it's Watergate. <gasps> Watergate. I like that game, Watergate. I enjoy Watergate. I like it a lot. It's, uh, it's a really balanced game, and it's kind of interesting. Uh, interesting to make a game out of this part of part of history. I would have thought you would, right. an, an impeachment hearing become a. <laughs> and they cram a lot of history in there. But yeah, it's um, I like the look of it. I made a whole video on it. Go see it on YouTube. <laughs> why I heart Watergate. So why do you heart Watergate? Well, I said it was balanced. It's it's just a crazy crazy <laughs> game because when people told me about it, I was like, who wants to play? <laughs> I mean, really, if you want to do some history, you want a, like a battle or right or like it's you know trading spices and, and something like that. You're exploring new continents. Something. Like no, we're doing the seventies. 70s the, the, uh, yeah, scandal. Yeah, one of the biggest scandals in, <laughs> in the history of American politics and from the 70s. And so They yeah. have a few board games that explore American politics over different years. I know 1960, The Making of a President, is another really popular one Yeah, um, about Kennedy. Uh, Twilight Kennedy. Struggles about the Cold War. Yeah. yeah. Um, There's a new Feld game that's about um, 18... Oh, yeah, that was yeah, yeah, with yeah, Andrew Jackson and, and mm-hmm. Andrew Jackson. Jackson. So... It's a popular um, theme, but this Watergate game has just been the darling of the game world for the last few months. Everybody's been talking about how great of a two-player game it is. I got to play it with Travis in Austin, and I really enjoyed it as well. Yeah. It's currently out of print. Again? Wow. I mean, already? Yeah. <laughs> I guess people, they didn't expect people to love a game about <laughs> the Watergate <laughs> scandal, just like yeah. you didn't expect people to love a game about birds. Yeah. yeah. Okay, well, I... I, I, is that all you want to say about it? Where I go I'm on? I don't want to cut you off. I just, I'm no not more. A, I'm no not more. A crook. We, we don't want, want any more. I'm not a crook. We don't want any more me because of Ronald's name. I know. I know. Okay. So I can't believe my number two has not been mentioned yet. It's a huge, big game, and we practiced it the night before. Rising Sun. <gasps> Oh, and we do, got do, 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 so do, 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 many do, 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 things wrong. Do, 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 Tons of things uh, wrong. In fact, is. there's a pyramid in the game, yeah. and we built the whole pyramid <laughs> because we got so many things wrong. It's Teotihuacan. 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 And how do you spell that? T E O. T O. T I H U A. You probably could just turn such for T E O. I couldn't type in like half the word. It wanted the whole yeah. thing. Yeah. Oh. So Teotihuacan is probably the biggest game on my list. Um, it wasn't originally. Whenever I did the the app thing, it did it threw it out. It ended up in like number uh, nineteen. But I decided, no, it needed to go up and be on number City two of God. because it's just that great. You've got to, you've got to yeah, have. That's true. I didn't, I didn't even put it in the title. I should have. You got to have your cocoa. You got to move your workers around. You got to figure out when you want to ascend them, um, power them up and ascend and, and, and you know, kill the mobs. Correctly. And there's just so many different strategies to this game, and every time I play it, it's like I realize something else is another valid way to play. And I just really have enjoyed playing it every single time. I got to teach it at Dice Tower. That was really fun, even though the people decided it wasn't a game for them, and they quit after the first clips. Oh, wow. <laughs> well, and each time you play it, it can be a little different because, like, I think we played with just the, the base, like, however the board comes, but there's these other little tiles yep. that you can, like, put on top of the air- areas and it It's different around. every time. Yeah. Exactly. Really yep. So that's my number two, Teotihuacan. 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 <laughs> Melissa, what you got for number two? <laughs> All right. My number two has been mentioned. Uh, I think it was over here. Just. And it's welcome to. Oh, I am shocked to hear that. Yes. Now it it didn't hurt for for the yogurt delivery to occur. I I was very swayed by the yogurt, and I and I will admit, like after the fact, like I just there was I think there was a moment like during it that I had to <laughs> hold composure and really like not get over because I get it emotional easily. You Can know? you teach me how to do that? <laughs> <laughs> look at me. Look at how happy I am. 
I love yogurt and ice yes. cream, you guys. I think there was there was a moment where I was just like, this is just too unreal. Like I just could I just couldn't wrap my head around like, oh my gosh, did this just happen? Like I have this, this yogurt is the here. Real life. How is this possible? Like, yeah. yeah, thanks for Thanks for rubbing it in, Melissa. Yeah, that looks a whole lot of fun. <laughs> now, now, now we gotta. Welcome get... to and and frozen yogurt. Yeah. <laughs> now we got we got we got two great things. They're probably good yeah. together. <laughs> we'll have to open up an ice cream bar in here. Yes, we need we need ice cream bars. So, do you have anything to say about the game itself, or was um, it just the ice cream delivery? That that was a big part of it. But welcome to I I really found that I really do enjoy the roll and write style of games. Like Cartographers is on my list as well as Welcome To. I really like that style of game. It's become one of like the, you know, when they say like, oh, what kind of style of games do you like? I really like roll and writes. I find them very enjoyable. I find it very easy to understand. The only thing that I do find is that my AP goes through the roof. <laughs> Because I can't make a darn decision about, but if I put the little fence here, what if the next card I could put the little fence here? Oh, no. That's the only downside. But otherwise, it's well, a, a game. Yeah. <laughs> but otherwise, that it's a really work. amazing game. I really do like Welcome to. Awesome. Yeah. Very good. Very Jesse. Good. So my next game is one that's already been mentioned. Uh, so I will show a different clip because this is a game we played twice on the stream. We had a very memorable live showing of this fiasco <gasps> at Dice Towercon. But prior to that, we played it here. <laughs> we played a very quiet stream. Like, yeah, nobody was here for it. We had it. very yeah. few viewers live that day. Yeah. And it's sad because it was epic. Yeah. <clears throat> so we it was a... Uh, Antarctica themed things and I won't spoil the movie for you but, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah it was uh, all of us in Antarctica doing various things Yay! we had props we had sound we had green screen I mean you can yeah. see on screen right there what all the kinds of things we had going on there was snow yeah, it was a wild wild day that day it was one of one of my favorite days as well. Mm -hmm. uh, Travis just joined us in the chat, and you've been on this episode quite a bit yeah. already. <laughs> you were on screen right there. But yeah. And Melissa discovered that. Um... I just don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> I didn't. I never. I never could quite understand the grasp of like the dice and if it was like good or bad, and I never paid attention to it. So you're like, are you really gonna? Yeah, I'm like. Yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah. Um, you yeah, sure? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> this was a dramatic scene right here with the snow oh whipping at us. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I look like a woman from the biblical times. <laughs> yeah. Oh, your library just yeah, bought a great, of games. Yeah, great Yay. option for number two. Yeah. So before, oh, yeah, fiasco. Were you gonna say anything else about it? Or? No, no. I just had, I have a lot of fun. I laugh so much when we play mm -hmm. this game. It, that's what makes it great. It's just all the fun we have. Mm -hmm. So I was thinking before we do number one for each person, we could just try to guess what we think their number one might be. Do you think oh, that would be fun? Yeah, sure. I, I want the have, chat to guess, as and well. we want the chat to also join in. I also in. have an honorable mention. Okay, well we'll get to that after. Yes. So Joe's gonna go first. What do you guys think? You can put in the chat, and we're going to voice what we think as well is Joe's number one game that he's played on the Kent channel. I have a guess. You have a guess at Joe's I have a guess one. for Joe, yeah. So you're not even We all love search, concept huh? so much that we said concept couldn't be in the top ten. Concept we is were, actually... We were all... We had all yeah. put just concept, one through ten, yeah. concept. I've, I'll actually let the cat out of the bag. My honorable mention was concept, because I, I couldn't find a way to actually put in there because we played it so many times so like it's there's got to be an honorable mention so that was mine Joe's number one okay so my guess is black angel hmm? no guess. way that's just my guess <laughs> I, I guess teotihuacan okay oh just me. yeah that's, that's right that's it could my... be something that some ways already picked yeah that's um, my guess it's gotta be bubbly pop right no. <laughs> <laughs> no. i didn't play that on stream. it's true that's true you didn't I don't want to repeat somebody else's, so... Were you here for Monopoly? No. Yeah. Okay. Okay, well, there you go. 
But I think it's Teotihuacan. Okay, well, Magritte says it's something heavy. Victor says it's he's not sure. It's definitely something heavy. Oh, whatever All that right, Mad let's... Max delivery game was. Okay, I think well, that was already said. That yeah, was, it was, he mentioned it was, that. It was already said, but a lot earlier in the stream. Mm. Oh. And it was the, the recency effect. It was Betrayal Legacy. Oh! oh! I was about to say Black Angel to watch y'all go. Oh. Oh. <laughs> That's but the third heard. crossover of Betrayal yeah. Legacy. Yeah, Betrayal Legacy. Betrayal Legacy, I thought, yeah, was, you're right. Right. Yeah, right. was a good... Well, I enjoyed playing it. I thought the chat enjoyed watching us play. That's like your lightest weird. game on your list. Yeah, that is yeah. a lightest... <laughs> well, he had water game. I had, water good, game I had good critters on there. Oh, oh, yeah, that, that's, that, okay, that's your lightest game. Yeah, yeah right, Joe. The, the chat really got involved with that yeah. game. They and, really loved it. Which is a surprise bazooka. to all of us. And so it was bazooka the bazooka granny. The bazooka <laughs> granny was It was too also the second legacy game I played. Mm. And it was the first legacy game I played that I liked. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> That being said, like, no one. We don't get a lot of hits on like the other legacy games. The other yeah, usually when we do legacy games or campaign games, we don't have a lot of people in the chat because they don't want spoilers. But for this game, people either hey G many eggs, people either hey, hey, hey. didn't care about the spoilers, <laughs> or they said they weren't going to play, or they already had played. So we had a lot of people every time we streamed that game. It was really cool to have you guys yes. there mm -hmm. during it that. It was beyond our expectations. Oh sure. yeah. Mm -hmm. We're actually very nervous going into like, oh, who's going to come watch it? Uh, <laughs> really good. Well, did you see that question, Jay? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Were those po Was it posted? I don't know. Yeah, uh -huh. it, wasn't, it, wasn't, it wasn't a favorite of anybody. Uh, I don't think the chat That was aeons either. ago. We don't need to worry about that. Ago. Ago. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, <laughs> unfortunately, I don't think anyone at this table enjoyed that one. Uh, there was a sad. I will say there was one moment. We need to do their bottom ten games we played well, on the I channel. Was, there was one moment, and it was in like the sixth game that we played. I was so ner. I actually got legitimately nervous. I was like, "What game?" The, uh, Aeon's in. Like, oh, I thought we were talking about Betrayal Legacy. Yeah. No, no, no. Oh. That, it was, it, there was one we're, of them. Let's go back to Betrayal Legacy. Comes down to yeah. Yeah, let's talk about the good one. I think that's yeah. true with Betrayal Legacy because but, but since we were playing a bunch of series of them, if you were the traitor, it wasn't you, it wasn't too bad because you knew you know, the next time you one. might not. You probably uh, wasn't here with Tartarstone. Tartarstone was on my list. I already mentioned it, and it was on Jesse's list, too. Yeah. Okay, so do um, you have anything else to say about Betrayal before we move on? Yeah. No. All right. All right. Sure. So you guys try to make a guess what my number one is. Ronald's number one. Uh, chat, you can guess, and also everyone at the table. I would love for you to guess as well. <gasps> oh, oh. I'll that? tell you that when I did the little thing, I because I, I used an app to help me put everything in order. It put this game at the top of my list, and I said, "That's not my number one game." Ron, <laughs> but Sputin. then I ended up leaving it no, there. It isn't. I, I say it's up. I say it's side because you're wrong, Sputin. Okay, Melissa believes it's Scythe, Rise oh, of Fenris. Wow. Rococo wasn't on stream. <laughs> it would have definitely been in my top ten. Rococo was great. Nyobari thinks it's Amerigo. <laughs> That's the where you dropped the little one cube. I was like, what? what have you done? Yes, that was a great moment. Well, you're going by games, not necessarily moments in the stream. I went so. by games. Yeah, so maybe Scoville. Scoville. Okay. I feel like everyone didn't say something. I uh, haven't said anything. I'm, oh, okay. I'm, I'm at a loss. I don't know. Just thinking games he owns. <laughs> That's what I was thinking about. I was yeah. like, which? Uh, he owns Galaxy Trek. Oh, what about the, the tree? Everdale. The tree? Oh, yeah, Everdale. Yeah. Yeah, Everdale's in a recent one. I had yeah. Everdale on my list for a bit. Yeah. So Go with that. I'll say Everdale. So you said... Scythe. Auto Adventure. I haven't okay. played that one yet. Scythe was not season. on my short list. Oh. And you said Everdale, which also was not on my short list. Really? Above and Below was on my short list. Let me see where it actually shook out to. It shook out to oh. number 17. I said Scoville. Oh, sorry. Scoville <laughs> was on my list as well. It shook out to number 11. Oh, oh so close. Oh, right there. <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, no one has guessed it correctly, and I didn't expect anyone would. Do you it own is, it? I do own it, okay. yes. So this is a cool game, and this was a, also a cool experience for me. This is the first time that a publisher contacted me through my that Instagram my and list. sent me a free game. I could not fathom this. I could not believe that I was being sent something free just for having an Instagram account. And I have never seen this game fail. Every time we play it, 
No matter who's at the table, they like it. Mm. Um, we got to first try it in Lafayette, and it is, <laughs> I'm just going to keep talking about it without telling you what it is, Skull King. Yo, ho, ho. Oh, boom, boom, oh, boom. Oh, <laughs> Skull King is a trick-taking game, and it is, I love trick-taking games. I was raised on them, so... It's just, oh, I look so cute and skinny. God. Um, hey, I'm wearing the same sweater. Yeah. And Cheryl's there with Cheryl's us that day. There. Cheryl's in Houston now, if anyone's near Houston. Um, so, Yo Ho Ho and a bottle of Skull King. It's a great little game. Eventually you can more teach hats. it pretty easily. Um, it's Joe's a light game. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying things at that time. <laughs> Um, and I, I just realized every time that little app asked me, which of these games you'd rather play, Skull King kept being the one I would pick. And awesome. I was just like, I, that game is so fun to me. So it I is. just had to choose it. I agree. Awesome. That Melissa, really was on my show. Melissa list. seems to be leaving. Mm hmm Well, I was going to go, well, no. Okay. You'll have to guess first. What? Yeah, we've got to guess. Were you doing charades back there? Brand, don't look at my list. All right, so now we're all going to guess what is Melissa's favorite game that she's played on the channel. Well, this she's is, had some wacky ones, but she's been going by hard. moments. She's mostly. been going by the moments, and that makes it way harder, because otherwise I would have said Bruges or some other film game. Or Castle of Burgundy she, or something. She, is she, she even hasn't had film? one film game on her list yet. <laughs> she's walked off. <laughs> well, she chose for her birthday Bruges. Yeah. So that, I guess, it would be my guess. Oh, uh, Travis has it. That's got to oh, be it, right? Oh, oh. Maybe it is. I actually think that her number one game is Betrayal Legacy. That's my guess. No, I think Travis has it, right? I think he has it, too. So you both, you guys both think Charterstone. She's well, hiding she, her she's face. She's not doing fail, so. <laughs> okay, Melissa, let, let's hear out with it. <laughs> she's going to change it. Oh, that's why. <laughs> Well, <laughs> Charter Stones have it. That's a spork for those that can't tell. The spork. Spork. Because spork means forever queen. Yes. <laughs> yes. No, not down with the forever queen. <laughs> yes. Spoiler alert for our grand playthrough of Charter Stone. Melissa was the forever queen. So there was something with a spork. I'm still not sure how that fit in. <laughs> uh, there's, there is on the Discord some long lost photo of me. <laughs> yes. With... I think I hurt Melissa's feelings. I don't think you did, Vidger. Oh, I would. I would. What? What happened? Melissa, um, she's pretty. She's pretty easygoing. She's pretty hard to offend. I don't think you did. She doesn't even know what you're talking about. Yeah. <laughs> 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 How many individual games did Melissa win? Just curious. I'll look that up. Ah. Don't worry. <laughs> Don't scroll up. Don't oh. scroll up what? Oh. Even the, ma the mach machine doesn't want us to scroll up. Yeah, it's like, ah! That's funny. Oh, the little sign. Yeah, the signs. I yeah. remember the signs. <laughs> Melissa won five games of Charterstone out of the 12. Five out of 12. Pretty mm -hmm. good. Travis and I each won three, and Jesse won two. Yes, I did well. We also had some rules errors the first two or three games My that first may have affected that. So, because um, Melissa got a really big bonus for something we played wrong at the very beginning of the game, so. Mm. And apparently I won when I wasn't supposed to. We don't know who would have won. True, that's true. I talked talk about like Charter Stone being meh. My local groups do not like it at all. It was on my top ten. I love that game. I would play it again. <laughs> and it was on Jesse too. That's not another three way tie. Well, if if no one figured out when I was making my list, I went by moments because to me, we've played a lot of really good games, and then we played a lot of games yeah. I've really liked, and then some I haven't. And my best way to plan it out, to simplify down to 10 for me personally was on the moments because it being live streaming, it being that we've done these, you know, we've gone to the cons, we've done the Southern Board Game Fest, we did the stuff at Dice Tower, we've had legacy games and all some amazing things like the yogurt and the ice cream and the, you know, the Charter was, that was, that was the first time that really like I was the big you know like at the top of the heat you know it just it, it stands out in my mind is like 
my one moment. Like if nothing else, if n nothing ever happens again, I have Charter Stone. Like so, when we get ready to do our top ten moments on the stream, you guys can just do top ten games, and Joe and I will do top ten moments. <laughs> But Since we've did two different lists. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, I, also, like, I don't think I'm, I was in, in any of these moments. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Well, nice. actually, Way Monopoly. To go, Melissa. You you to go. You're worried about her feelings, so oh. I'm over here. Oh. You're there for, you were there now, for Monopoly. Cartographers. cartographers. And cartographers. Yes. Well, now, and, and now. You want to play Fiasco? One. I didn't think so. Let's see. Let's see. Let's go with Jesse. Go with Jesse. Take your number. Four. Like four or five of these. Okay. So a few. Okay. My feelings are still Um. So now it's time for us to guess what would Jesse's number one be. Ooh. I've had a weird list. I've had a mix of games and a mix of moments. If it was just based on the best game, I have a guess. But I think you're you've been inspired by the more of the moment and the experience that we had than the actual games. Because mm -hmm. I know you love Istanbul, so I would put Istanbul at the top of your list. Interesting. But I don't think that's what you picked. <laughs> I played that game a lot on stream. I've even played it solo, like um, the digital version. Vidra thinks it's Pantone. Melissa, you're the closest to Jesse of anyone. What do you think his number she one might be? I don't know. <laughs> she, she thinks oh, she I know what it is. Mm. I know it. Oh, I clapped again. Sorry. I know what it is. I'm not going to say that because I want someone else to... Well, you gotta say it eventually. I will after everyone gets their guesses <laughs> out. I don't want, to, I don't want oh, what happened no, just no. now. No. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's the right answer. I know what it is. It I wasn't there five, for that. I wasn't eight, there for that. Four, and you don't three, own it. Two, one. No one else wants to make a guess. I can't. I can't think of anything. This wait. is a game. Okay, my guess is Reavers of Midgard. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. Champions. No, no, Reavers. Champions of Midgard. I say Reavers. I. Oh, oh yeah, Reavers. Yep. A little fun game. I. I Sounds like no. I'll right. go champions. So just, this is a game change. we own. Oh, we own champions. Something you own. Yeah. <laughs> this is a game we played on stream at least four times, I think. Uh-oh, it's not mine. Mm. That narrows it down. Four it times. Yeah, there, yeah. yeah. We haven't played oh, it it's Aeons and Legacy. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> this. No, this is a game that we love to play with the chat, and that oh, is Concept. concept. So, oh, Travis, Travis got it. Travis got it right. That's right. Concept? <laughs> yep. The reason is, is just because I think I always have a good time playing it with the chat. I like reading off what everybody's saying, just like I like reading off every what everyone's saying right now, just playing the guessing game. And Pantone is right there in line with it. Uh, Imagine was, was all right. Imagine was okay. But Pantone's fun, but Concept's always the original one. That I jump nah. to as far as ones that I like to see played on chat. It just works so great to play with chat. And uh, yeah, so concept. <laughs> I like playing with everyone online. So it's yes. a fun game. It was my so fun that's a good point to you know to make the announcement. And now the chess just gonna be you playing concept. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah, so so I'm myself. The rest concept. of us are not gonna be on the channel yeah, anymore. It's gonna be called I Heart Concept. Yep. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Look at that blue. <laughs> Thank you, Anonymous Gifter, yes. for that gift yeah, sub for Hedges Pictures. We yeah. heart you. So there's uh, Melissa's list. Let me change the color just to make it, like, not weird. This, uh, this is what I have to do every day, by the way, is change colors and all that stuff. But, yeah, there we go. There's my so list. I went list. very old school. Pen, paper, made a list. Yep. Well, even Joe and oh, paper too. Yeah. Paper. Oh, look at typed paper. I got a typed oh, yeah. one. Oh. This is a... Broke out the word right. processor for the first time in like five, <laughs> five years. Very <laughs> nice. nice. Spent longer trying to figure out how to make the font bigger than I did actually making the list. Mine is typed as well, but I just took a picture of my screen. Did you really? Oh, because it was on computer. I just did all mine in notepad. Oh, blue boy. I hate typing stuff up on yeah. yeah, it's Terra Mystica. Yeah. Yep. It's so yeah, that's our top ten. Um, really cool games on here. A lot of reasons There's why we made them. A lot of games I had on my list that 
that were like on my short list that nobody said. Really? <laughs> I had a few that fell off, like um, also based on moments. Very cool games, but you know, we'll talk about them over time. They might come up on another list. Yeah. Should we choose to do something like this again? This was fun. I enjoyed it. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah top tens. I enjoyed not having to learn our rules. <laughs> <laughs> You're not having rules withdrawal if someone said No, chat. no, I'm still trying to learn the game for Sunday, so. Oh. Well, well, yeah. well you did when you sat down today. You were like, now how are we going to do this? What? I was usually asking what the rules were for the top ten. That's true. There are some rules for for making it. We've never done it before, so yeah, yeah. Um, We thought it'd be a fun change. Let us know what you guys thought of um, this format with a top ten list. Um, If you're here on YouTube, make sure you hit that subscribe button. That's right. So what game is Sun Twitch for follow? Ooh, Sunday. Sunday is Tapestry. Yeah. Oh right, Tapestry with four players. Cox came on. That had, that was a very difficult game at the <laughs> there's, start. There's no winners in that game. You no, know, um, there isn't. So I'm trying to quit the game. Actually, I didn't have any Ryan right. Lockets in my top ten. That is crazy. I didn't have any felts. Well, that's but that's no felts. So no felts. I'll give you ten dollars for your collection. I'll give you ten dollars for your collection of felts. If you both seem to be abandoning. Uh, that's not gonna happen. <laughs> There's yeah, a value. Like, uh, <laughs> I, I think <laughs> right. I think there were 50. there 50. were a few felts that I probably just it didn't nothing. Momentous stood out. For I me. thought about adding America later, just because it is part of our our save clip there, which was hilarious. When oh, you watched right. me slam it. Oh, slam right. it. <laughs> what have you done? <laughs> Nothing came out. Yeah. <laughs> One little cute. Oh, and I do like that game. I, uh, I like yeah. that game, but that was just hilarious because yeah. you. Yeah, it's a good one. I do like that one. Yeah, because you're making a world, and that's always cool. The world build. Um, Forum Trajanum was all right. I had more fun playing on stream than we did playing it off stream. I liked Merlin. Merlin was Merlin's a good one. Good. I like Merlin. It's a good one. But yeah. I'm going to do a list, so I'm not going to talk about Phil. That's right. <laughs> oh, yes. We can make a Phil list. So, yeah, more lists like that coming out, I guess, on YouTube. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Southern Park Game Fest. I don't know what I'm doing over there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you, you did one with Yeah, them. we did mention Southern Board Game Fest a couple of times. Well, you mentioned <laughs> I don't know what's going on. I'm pointing at Cryptid. It's what oh, I was doing. Uh, okay. Uh, you, you mentioned John with... Uh, Southern Board Game Fest. Yeah. But y'all were at Dice Tower. We streamed for 12 hours from Southern Board Game Fest mm. uh, last year, this year. When was that? I don't know. Everything's starting to run together. But that was a great day. Out of context, but that's, that's weird. <laughs> I, I could I thought about putting Captains of the Gulf on my list, but I was wanting to pick like the games I want to play again, and I don't need to play Captains of the Gulf again right this second. So yeah, um, yeah, that was good stuff at Southern Board Game Fest. Um, and if I w- if I was doing experiences, that would probably make my list because right getting to play with Jason himself and him teaching and then I won I mean it was a pretty good day yeah well I want to say even with the moments all these games I thoroughly enjoyed playing and you know like like I was saying first like Monopoly didn't see like it was a big shock like why would that be on list but for me I never experienced Monopoly so when everybody always says when they're like oh I play board games oh look Monopoly everybody has that moment of having someone say that to them well, I've never played Monopoly before. So like on the stream was my first actual chance to actually play like an old fashioned game, just basic Monopoly. So it was fun for me. It was it was a really fun experience as far as like getting to play one of those games that everybody knows and everybody recognizes. Yeah. We miss you too, Travis. Come visit. Yeah. Yeah, this was a throwback episode. It was good going back in time like this. That was fun. I figured it'd be like a flashback episode. <laughs> so I guess let's talk about what we have coming up. Yeah. Yep. Did you guys do a people's choice? No, we weren't that organized. No, we are not that organized, Blood Brother. Yeah. Um, this was our first try at it. Maybe something in the future. For sure. For so sure. So what? What game came up the most? Yeah, the most. Betrayal Legacy. Betrayal uh, Legacy three. had three hits, and Charterstone had three hits. Mm, so we, we like and our legacies. To, what about Welcome to? Did you that have was on two lists. Twice. And then the m- fiasco was on, was on two. two. Yeah. Cartographers was on two. Pulsar was on two. Legacy. Wow. And that's it, mm-hmm. as far as I know. Wow was on my short list. Um, I did mention Arkham, right? No. 
Oh, oh I didn't? No. It was on my short list then. Wingspan is just, I love that game. I will say, even if it wasn't with Nobody it, mentioned I love Scythe, game. Travis. And nobody mentioned Dan's in <laughs> Legacy. Uh, Nyctophobia was on my short list. Oh, because, wow. Yeah, because that game is very unique. No one can argue that. Yeah, it was on my and, short list um, too. And, and when Catherine came in without us having to ask her to, <laughs> that was great. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Arga, I did mention that. I did mention your swan song, Travis, because that was yes. on Arkham made my list. So swan Sunday, song. this Sunday, we'll be back at our normal time, which is 3 p.m. Tune in for Tapestry, the latest from Stonemaier Games. Um, I hope you guys will join us for that. And then Monday, we had a request for Sushi Go. So we'll be playing Sushi Go Party. I'm so going to watch Sushi. <laughs> right? Well, you know, well, yes. maybe we should all dress up as raw fish. <gasps> oh, surprise sushi. Like surprise ice cream yogurt. No, I don't eat seafood, so I'm going to pass on that one. No. Surprise and sushi tonight. Yeah. Surprise. No. Go you don't want sushi. surprise sushi. <laughs> And then next Wednesday, a week from today, we are going to be trying another something new. We're going to be trying something on Tabletop Simulator. What will it be? You'll have to tune in to find out. That's right. <laughs> we tried to figure out what it was. No, we totally know. We just can't tell. We're really organized. Yeah, we are. Yes, we're professionals. Totally, totally, totally. Blood Blood. rage. Well, it's going to be a Wednesday, which is a school night, so it's going to be something easy. I'll tell you that. (laughs) Um, Concept. Lots of concept. (laughs) (laughs) Um, Plus, we are not that, like, proficient with the game yet, with the interface, so we're going to be like, oh, what do we click? (laughs) It'll be a lot of that. that? Um, Oh, it'll be a lot of us figuring out things. Like brass with blood boiler. It has been so long since I taught that, I mean, since I played it. Yeah, I never, I've it. never played it before. So. It would only so. take six hours, probably. <laughs> right. Maybe on a Sunday uh, or a Saturday or something like that. But I have work. Um, yeah. <laughs> so uh, thank you guys so much for being here. Today was something new and different and special for us. And we really appreciate you supporting us and being here. Thanks for the subs. Thanks for the follows. Um, we really do appreciate it. We heart you guys. Yep. And uh, one of the things we love to do around here is spread the board game love, which means we always raid over to another content provider here on Twitch to help them out and let them know that we love them too. Yep. Thanks, Travis. So who are we going to raid over to today? So we're going over to Dragon's Demise. They're playing Rise of Fenris, which is a game we're very familiar with. We even made an animation online that Travis was a voice in and Ronald and Melissa, but not Joe. Because we didn't want him to be in it. Okay. kidding. <laughs> It was a different time. It was it was fake. No, one. no means. We don't want any mean comments. No. <laughs> but yeah, go check that out. It's a great way to prime yourself to play the game uh, Rise of Fenris. It's the and, backstory. But yeah, it's a place we've been before, and they're always responsive, so we know that. Mm-hmm. But until next time, the box is closed. Bye bye. Bye.